As you know, we already got the supercharger in and we street tuned it the best that we can with what we got. But with the bump in power, there's some reliability mods that we can still do to the car, especially since we're tracking it, which is what we're doing in today's episode. We're installing an oil catch can. Let's go catch some oil. So I was doing some random car research and came across some photos of people showing the nasty stuff that they've caught in their oil catch cans. And I thought to myself, we're installing an oil catch can. Okay, so again, we are going to mount our oil catch can on this side uh, since this is a track car and we're going to be at high RPMs and boost for, I would say, most of the time. Normally, you could put a oil catch can on this side and this is actually probably preferred for street cars. But again, we're doing it on this side because this is going to be the track car. And where I'm thinking about mounting it is right there to, uh, I guess it's something, something to do with the brakes. Basically, going to mount it right there and we're gonna take this hose as we're gonna intercept it it's gonna go into the catch can there and then back into our uh, intake right before the supercharger hopefully clean and what we're using as our bracket is just a simple piece of like punched flat bar that we drilled the holes just a little bit bigger to accept the screws that came with the catch can everything's all mucked up let's go ahead and install it so we got our oil catch can from our friends over at MossMiata.com. They are the top website to visit when it comes to shopping for Miata parts. Make sure to check them out. Link will be in the description. going to do is maybe later at another time we're going to install another catch can here double catch cans is usually a thing but uh, this time around we're just going to install a new pcv valve from a 1989 mazda gtx turbo this is only just because since that car was originally turbo the pcv valve probably operates a lot better under boost than the na miata unit so we're just going to swap that in for this time around <music> So why do we even need one of these? Well, when your engine is doing engine stuff, some of the combustion gases slips by the piston rings and into your crankcase. This is especially true for boosted cars or cars that spend a lot of time at high RPM, or if you're a 200,000 mile Miata engine with a problem cylinder four. That blow-by builds up pressure in your crankcase, so your PCV system releases that pressure and recirculates it into the intake so it can get burnt again. Problem is, that nasty sludge can coat your intake, your supercharger, your turbocharger, your intercooler, and decrease its efficiency. So an oil catch can basically catches that stuff before it gets a chance to do that. Thanks, buddy. All right, that's gonna do it for today's episode. We got our oil catch can installed, and we also got our turbo PCV valve installed. Please consider subscribing for more build videos if you haven't already, and thanks again to Moss Miata. Please make sure to check them out and join us on the next episode where we install...